be some music in here? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just kidding. Are you filming all the Yeah. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? One, two. Hey, what's up? This is Sean Rickani, and this is Rad BMX How To. I'm gonna teach you how to know you both. I'm not even looking, bro. I'm looking, I'll leave. Like, I did all mine on the ground. Kids are gonna be like, kind of fucked up on this too. So, how I learned Molly Barston just started off actually a flat ledge. That's hard though, most kids don't know One of the first steps to a nollie barsman is being able to nollie really well and do hop barsmans really well. And then find yourself a decent up ledge or a nice like mellow bank. Just get comfortable nollying out of it, get your pop right. And then a thing that helps me a lot with nollie bars is as I'm coming up the ledge, like on your front wheel, I almost pull the hand that I throw it up towards my chest. So when you like throw the bar spin, almost try to pull it up towards you as you're throwing it and it levels your front wheel out. After you get comfortable doing it up an up ledge or up a bank, you can do it off the side of the flat wheel, which is a lot easier because your back wheel won't catch. Uh, then when you get comfortable doing that, you can do it straight off the ledge. Nolly 180 bars off things. Then once you're comfortable with all that, you can try it on flat ground. Basically just get as steep as you possibly can and then pull with your throwing hand up to your chest as hard as you possibly can. And throw the bars, catch, land, boom, done. <laughs> After you guys learn your Nolly Bars, I'm going to do an Instagram contest, hashtag SR Nolly Bar, and I'll pick a winner a week after this video comes out for a set of Stranger Handlebars and a few t-shirts. Thanks for watching Rod BMX How To. I actually feel like Nolly Barsmans are, take less effort than a regular hot barsman off a ledge. 